I just finished getting ready for the day and the final step to my little get ready routine is always adding some perfume and I just ordered two new kind of summer scents, fresh fruity scents for summer from Dossier. Here are the two fragrances I ordered. I have actually shared Dossier so many times here on my channel. I love their perfume. They are a replica company. So they replicate high-end perfumes and only charge you $29 to $39 for the replicated perfume. And I've also shared time and time again that for me, the smell really, really close, if not an exact dupe to the original, and the price point is so much better. The longevity is amazing. They last on the skin all day long. So I decided to treat myself to a couple of fun new fragrances for summer. Dossier makes a great gift. I mean, the packaging is super, super cute. The bottle is in the box, and then there is a card that talks about the perfume. What, what high-end fragrance it replicates, what the notes are, the concentration, and how Dossier works. I will link Dossier down below for you guys with 10% off, and they usually have some type of discount or sale going on their website, so you can piggyback discount. So you can use the 10% down in the description box alongside any other discount on their website. So you can save 20, 30, even 40% off of their fragrances. So I wanna share with you the two that I picked up. We'll decide which one I want to wear today. So the first one is the Powdery Orange Flower, and this is inspired by Valentino's Vox Viva Odie Perfume. One thing I have to share with you guys is the magnetic lid on these is so nice. Because you can throw these in your purse, the lid does not come off, and you don't have perfume spilt all over your purse, which I very much appreciate. So the powdery orange flower inspired by Valentino's Voca Viva Eau de Perfume has top notes of mandarin, bergamot, and ginger, so kind of those fresh scents for summer, middle notes of orange flower, white flowers, and gardenia, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, and musca, musca. So this is going to be kind of a warm, fruity scent with a base note of vanilla. The Valentino perfume smells so good, but it is so incredibly expensive. Oh, oh my gosh. That smells so good. It is, you guys, this is the Valentino perfume. I smell the vanilla, I smell the fruity notes, and then I smell like that back, back end of musk. Oh my gosh. It smells so good and just like the Valentino perfume. I just couldn't bring myself to purchase the Valentino, but when I saw that Dossier had replicated it, of course I had to pick it up. And the other fragrance I chose was Fruity Jasmine, and this is inspired by Dior's Je Adore Eau de Perfume. We know how expensive Dior is. I mean, Dior is expensive. If this smells like the Dior perfume, I'm gonna be really excited because this is a great scent for summer. Your top notes are mandarin, green leaves, and sweet pea. So this is going to be a little bit sweeter scent, which I love for summer. Your middle notes are jasmine, lang lang, champagne, and peach. Base notes are sandalwood, plum, and musk. So this is going to be kind of a sweeter, fruity scent with that musk base. I'm really excited. I have a feeling this is the one I'll wear today. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I love this. This is so summer. This is summer in a bottle. There is fruity. There is sweet. There is a very, 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 very hint of musk, but it is definitely a more sweeter, fruitier smell. I feel like with the neon shirt and neon pants I have on today, we're going with this one. Wow, I'm in love. This is so good. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's floral. This is really good. And this is also very similar to the Dior, if not a dead on dupe to it. Oh my gosh, yum. I, I'm, I'm smelling really, really good right now. I'm smelling good, I'm ready for the day. I will once again link Dossier down in the description box for you with 10% off. And don't forget you can piggyback that with any other discount on their website. I love Dossier and I feel really good that I treated myself to a couple of summer fragrances. We're now in the car. I had a really, really good workout. It was rough. I was just not very motivated today. I think it's just a mix of coming back from vacation and it being Monday and being just kind of tired and worn out from my trip. Not that I didn't get a lot of sleep, but we did a lot of activity. I was anywhere from 
14,000 to 20,000 steps a day. We hiked, we worked out at the gym, we did lots of shopping, which involved lots of walking. So I think I was just a little worn out from my trip, but I walked to the gym, did my strength training, and walked home. So I'm super proud of myself for that. I did go ahead and get ready for the day, and I'm I just got to Tucson to do a couple of errands. I purchased a pair of really cute, bright neon yellow green tennis shoes from Steve Madden. I don't know what it is about neon, but I'm into it. I'm wearing a neon shirt today. I bought neon shorts. I just am loving neon. I'll pop a picture in of the shoes that I bought. I didn't do my due diligence of reading the reviews and the shoes run really, really small. I could not even get my whole foot in the shoe, which is the normal size that I wear. So I had to drive to Tucson on to a specific place to actually return the shoes. So I'm here to return the shoes. I have to stop by the post office and mail my giveaway prize to the winner in my Facebook group, my spring challenge. If you didn't know, I offer a paid challenge every three months or four times a year in my Facebook group. It's just a really great way for accountability. We do weekly giveaways. We have monthly challenge topics. So I have to mail off the giveaway for that. Troy is actually going golfing. He's well, he's not going golfing. He's going to hit some balls with his dad today. So I need to get home in time for him to head out to do that. But I'd like to stop by Ross because I need to pick up a couple of things for my kitchen. Or I'm hoping that Ross has the couple of things for my kitchen. So we'll just kind of see how much time we have. I did finish my coffee this morning. I will go ahead and down in the description box just list out what's in my coffee. It's my normal coffee that I have every day. I did pack some water. This is my new Lululemon water bottle that I I bought from the Lululemon store in San Diego. I'll fill you guys in on a little bit on my trip and pop some pictures in, but I'll link this water bottle down below. Best water bottle I've ever had. I don't know what Voodoo Magic is in this water bottle, but the water tastes better. And Rachel, my best friend, said the same thing, that she feels like the water just tastes better in this bottle. And the ice that I put in this bottle yesterday morning at the airport was still in there this morning. So it keeps your water nice and cold. So I brought that. And then I brought a snack. This is the P3 snack that you guys saw that I picked these up at Walmart in my grocery haul. This is the turkey, Colby Jack, and almonds. 160 calories and 11 grams of protein. So a great snack and the almonds in here are roasted, so they're really, really good. So I'm going to munch on that on my way to the post office from this pack mail, pack mail, pack it, ship it, create it, freight it store that I'm at to send the shoes back. I always make a stop over at the dog toys because they always have such affordable ones. Don't sleep on dog toys and treats at Ross. So I placed an online pickup order for Duncan. I feel like I need a second coffee. I have real estate class later this afternoon too, as well as just a really busy Monday from returning from vacation. So I ended up getting a medium sized cold brew with the sweet cream cold foam and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. So I'll put the points here on the screen for you. I have a pickup order for Jennifer Clayton. Okay, you can pull it to the window. Okay, thank you. Cheers. I'm home. Let's get our treats. You ready? Oh, easy buddy. Easy diesel, good boy. Easy nug. Good girl. Good doggies. Yeah, good doggies. Let's do a little Ross haul. So what I went to Ross for initially was a container like this for my fiber powder. I actually have been using a fiber powder in my coffee. I haven't reviewed it or shared it with you guys yet because I want to make sure that I like it. And I've only had it now for about a week or so. And so I picked up one of these little OXO containers for the fiber powder. The one I bought is in a huge bag and it just takes up a lot of room in my cabinet. This, by the way, was $8.99. And then Troy had asked for some sunscreen. This is actually the Hurley brand sunscreen and it was $3.99. It's SPF 50. I did buy some spray sunscreen at Costco and he didn't love it. So I picked this up for him since he's been golfing a little bit more with his dad. And then I decided to grab a new bottle for my avocado oil. And I really like this one because it actually closes completely. It was 99 cents. That's an incredible deal. My other bottle isn't the best quality and the stopper at the top is really loose. So it drips when you pour it. Couldn't pass it up for 99 cents. And you already know that I can't go to Ross without stopping by the clothing section 
They had some really good things. So first I picked up this Coke shirt for Troy. I thought this was really cute. You guys know his obsession with Diet Coke. He loves having just graphic tees to wear since it's hot here every day. And then in the clearance section for $5.50, I found this long line sports bra. This thick band around the base is so nice. This is such good quality. And I absolutely love the little strappy design in the back. $5.50. Always, always check your clearance section at your local Ross. Also in the clearance section for $11.99. Look how cute this is, you guys. This Michael Kors tank top. It's just solid in the back. This was $11.99. So when I was in San Diego, we went to the Michael Kors outlet mall. Actually, let me show you the purse I bought. And I bought this beautiful purse. I love the color. You can see this is one of the colors I'm really gravitating towards. I have quite a few things in this color in this little Ross haul, but I picked up this Michael Kors purse for $149, which I thought was a really, really good deal. I just love the really pretty vibrant coral color. While I was there, they had a pair of Michael Kors shoes. They were $90 and they weren't even leather. And then there was a dress that I thought was really cute, almost $200. So the fact that I found a Michael Kors tank top that actually matches my purse for $11.99 at Ross, total bargain. All of the shirts that I picked up are in a size large. So also for $7.99, this is just a really cute tank top, that same fun coral color. And I love that little open design in the back. $7.99 is a great deal. And then lastly, this was a killer deal in the clearance section. Last for clothes, not last for the haul. For $10.99, I picked up this super cute Calvin Klein top. Look at this little bow off to the side. It actually zips up in the back. This is so cute. It's just a sleeveless little top. I just love the detail of the little bow here. And I like that it's just a little bit higher neckline. Calvin Klein, $10.99. Then last but not least, as I showed you guys, I never ever walk by the pet section without checking it out. I got all three of these little dog babies for $6.99. They don't have stuffing, they only have squeakers. If there's any stuffing, Palmer plucks it immediately. So I'm hoping that these will last a little bit longer and really to a little over $2 a piece is a steal. So that is my Ross haul. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself some lunch. It is about 11.30, I've got my coffee and it's time for some lunch. So for lunch today, I'm having a wrap. This has been one of my all time favorite lunches lately. It just keeps me nice and full and I'm able to get in some good protein for lunch. So I'm starting with one of the Mission Carb Balance wraps. And then for my condiment, I like to spread a wedge of the garlic and herb or really any laughing cow cheese. This is a great option because it's low in points, low in calories, but it serves as both your mayonnaise and your cheese or your condiment and your cheese. So I like to use it because it saves me points and calories. It tastes really good and it's nice and creamy. I like to spread it over the entire wrap so every bite has a little bit of that cheese. And then I'm going to use the great value thin sliced turkey breast and I'm going to add six slices total. And then I have a couple slices of the fully cooked bacon left over from a recipe. So I think I'm gonna add some bacon to my little wrap today. And then I like to just top it with some green leaf lettuce. And then go ahead and roll it up. I also like to kind of cut my wrap in half. I feel like it just helps me eat it a little bit slower, but look at how delicious that looks. This has really truly been one of my all time favorite lunches. And then I'm going to have a serving of these. These are the I1 Organics Protein Puffs. This is the caramelized onion, you guys. You guys, you have to get these. These are so good. They really remind me of like a Cheeto puff, their texture and their consistency. They're so crunchy and they have seven grams of protein per serving and three grams of fiber. They're so, so good. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh out 28 grams, which is a serving. So here's my lunch. Doesn't this look incredible? I'm telling you, these wraps, they're so easy, high in protein, and just a really, really good lunch. I found the protein puffs at Sprouts, but they're probably sold at multiple stores. 
10 out of 10. Highly recommend those, so I'll put points, <laughs> calories here on the screen for my lunch. I'm super excited. <laughs> for my lunch. This, like I said, has been kind of a go-to for me. I feel like it's light and cold and fresh on a summer day and lots and lots of protein, especially adding in that bacon. I've actually never done that before, so I'm excited to see what flavor the bacon gives it. The bacon's really good and gives it a nice crunch. Speaking of crunch, mm. seriously, so good such a good lunch. So I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys for a few minutes. First, I want to tell you about my little vacation to San Diego. I'm going to pop some pictures in here as I talk through what we did on our vacation. And then I want to talk with you guys about something that's kind of been weighing on me over the last few weeks. And while I was on vacation, this transpired a few other times. And I feel like it's something that needs to be talked about and address. So let's go ahead and start with the fun part of going on my vacation to San Diego. If you didn't know, my best friend Rachel lives in San Diego and we like to see each other a few times a year. She actually drove one of our vehicles to Arizona for us, if you remember from our moving vlog, and her and I just planned a really exciting trip to Hawaii in September. We're actually going with my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law was heading to Hawaii for a wedding and we thought that it would be a great time for us to go to Hawaii to hang out with her and just, of course, go to Hawaii. So we're headed to Kona, the big island in September. Chances are I will vlog that trip because it is just such a big and exciting trip, but I did decide not to vlog my trip to San Diego. It was just a couple of days and I really just wanted to be in the moment and enjoy my trip. My husband actually took me to the airport so I didn't have to drive myself and pay to park my car. I didn't leave until the afternoon on Thursday, June 2nd. So I worked a little bit in the morning, headed to the airport. The first thing that I had to do was take my airport selfie. This is something that I've been doing along my weight loss journey to kind of track my progress between the last time I was at the airport and now. So you can see a huge, huge difference in this selfie. The picture on the left was actually from January and the picture on the right, of course, was from my trip to San Diego. It's always nice to see that big change in my body and how much smaller I am in literally just about a six month period. Once I got to San Diego, we made a really quick trip to Sprout so we could pick up some healthy snacks. I grabbed some protein shakes for my coffee in the morning, some cheese sticks, because you know that's one of my very favorite snacks. And then we just went back to Rachel's house and sat by the fire outside. And it was just really nice. We just kind of talked and caught up with each other. Rachel actually has a roommate named Kelly, who has also become my friend. And then Kelly's daughter, Cassie, her 17 year old daughter is my friend as well. So I just kind of caught up with them and we just sat and visited. And then we headed to bed pretty early because Rachel and I got up at 5 a.m. on Friday, June 3rd, and went to Planet Fitness, and we worked out. I walked on the treadmill, I did my weight strength training routine from my fitness coach, and we really just started our day off on the right foot. We went home after that, we made some coffee, I was able to get in my protein shake, and then we headed to Julian, California. Now, last time I was in San Diego, we also went to Julian, and it was during the fall season, and it was just so much fun. It's such a pretty little place, it's a very quaint, town and they decorate for all of the holidays. So it was great to go in fall. So this time we actually went and had some lunch at the Miner's Diner, which is the same place we had lunch at last time we were in Julian. Then we did some shopping, went to their local candy store, and then finished our little trip to Julian out with a slice of apple pie. I actually got the sugar-free apple pie. I only ate half the slice and gave Cassie, Kelly's daughter, the other half of the slice, and it was so good. You have to have pie when you go to Julian, Kelly. California, but I wanted to be on track, stay on track, make good choices. So I opted to just have half my slice and share it with Cassie. Unfortunately, Kelly wasn't able to join us in Julian because she was working. We came back from Julian, got ready and headed out for dinner. I wore a brand new little leopard dress that I picked up from Cupshe. I actually ordered a couple of bathing suits from Cupshe and I needed to get to the minimum for free shipping. I hate paying for shipping, so I added this cute little leopard dress on, and I love it. It is really cute. It's on the short side, I will say, but it was very comfortable and very, very cute. So I wore that out for dinner to a little pub called Urge. It was Rachel, Kelly, Cassie, myself, and my friend Robin, 
Hey Robin, one of my subscribers who's become my good friend who also lives in the San Diego area. So we all went and had a really nice dinner. We were there for a good couple hours and we talked and just caught up. I gave Robin the biggest hug before we left and I wish I could have spent more time with her, but of course I was grateful that I got to see her on the trip. And then Saturday morning, again, we got up bright and early, right around 6 a.m. and we headed to Torrey Pine State Park. Rachel and I, the last time I was in San Diego, hiked this trail and it was really hard for me. It, this I've lost at least 50 pounds since the last time we hiked that trail. So I was anxious to see how I would do hiking up the really long hill to the trail and then taking a lot of the trails. They're absolutely beautiful. They all have ocean views, which is what makes this such a great place to hike. You guys, I did so I did incredible on the hike. My heart rate never got above about 120, which is great. When my heart rate last time was in the 180s, I wasn't out of breath. It was much easier for me to hike. And I felt like I really got to enjoy it more this time because I wasn't stressed, out of breath, tired, sore. I really got to enjoy the hike. There were some just beautiful ocean views along the way. And of course we had to snap a picture of Kelly, Rachel, and myself at the top of the hill on the trail with the ocean in the background. It was wonderful. We hiked for about an hour, walked back down to our car, and then we headed to a little coffee shop called Phil's. Their coffee is delicious. And every time I'm in San Diego, I have to get coffee there. So I got coffee and I got breakfast and then we headed home, got ready. And then we went to the outlet malls, the premium outlet malls. This was the first time I've been to these particular outlet malls. They're right on the border of Tijuana, Mexico, and they were fantastic. I bought a new purse that I shared with you guys in the Ross Hall. I bought a dress from Guess, a sweatshirt from the Columbia outlet. I bought a few things from the Bath and Body Works outlet, a lotion and some plug-in scent things for my house. And then I bought a really cute pair of tennis shoes from the Nike outlet. I tried to be mindful at the premium outlets because after that, I went for my first experience of the Lululemon store. I've never been to Lululemon. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on workout clothes before I got closer to my goal weight. I really wanted to wait until I was about the size that I was going to be or the size that I was going to stay before investing in clothing from Lululemon because it's not cheap. It isn't cheap at all. I actually spent about $300 at Lululemon, but I picked up the outfit that I'm wearing today. I'll go ahead and pop a picture in for you guys. The neon yellow sports bra, the tank top, and then bright blue leggings. I will say that these are some of the most buttery soft, comfortable leggings I've ever had in my entire life. They were well, well worth the money. You're looking at about 88 to about $130 for a pair of leggings, which sounds a lot, but Rachel told me that she's literally had Lululemon leggings for 10 years and they look brand new. So I thought that I would treat myself and invest in some really nice pieces of workout clothing. This yellow tank I'm wearing, I ended up getting a blue one, pretty similar to the color of my pants that was on clearance for $39. I couldn't pass it up. And then I also picked up my water bottle that I shared with you guys as well. It is the best water bottle. If you get anything, get the water bottle. Like I said, I don't know what it is about it, but the water just tastes really good and it stays nice and cold all day long. So we spent the entire day shopping. I had 16, 17,000 steps. We went to Flame Broiler for dinner, which is a local place. I got a half and half with chicken, beef, and vegetables. Skip the rice just to watch the carbohydrates. It was delicious. Went back, relaxed, headed to bed. And then in the morning on Sunday, Rachel took me to the airport. It was really good. It was just really nice to see Rachel, Kelly, and Cassie. We had so much fun shopping and laughing and just enjoying ourselves. We also drove around La Jolla, which is a very fancy area in California by the beach. We found houses up to $50 million, which just blew my mind. We were just driving around, sightseeing. We just had such a great time. So if you're watching Rachel and Kelly, thank you for an amazing, amazing trip. I love you both so much. So now I want to talk with you guys, kind of have a heart to heart with you guys a little bit. Over the last couple of months and really the last, I would say like two to three weeks on my YouTube channel, 
on my Instagram, in my Facebook group, my Facebook group, I've been getting a lot of comments about my makeup and not nice comments. Now I will say that there are nice comments. I do get a lot of nice comments about my makeup, but I've really been getting a lot of comments about how they d I wear too much makeup. They don't like how I do my makeup. I need to wear lighter eyeshadow, less is more. That's a comment that I've gotten a lot. And I want to tell you guys just a couple of things. First of all, I love makeup and I will wear whatever makeup I want to wear. If I wanna wear a ton of makeup, I'm gonna wear a ton of makeup. If I wanna wear lighter makeup, colorful makeup, neutral makeup, it's my choice. And remember, makeup washes off at the end of the day. So really what someone wears as far as makeup or clothing or how someone does their hair or really someone's appearance in general, number one is not your business and number two, it is not your place to comment. If you wanna say something nice, say something nice. But if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. It is completely 100% inappropriate and rude to comment on someone's appearance. Again, whether it's makeup, clothing, their hair, whether they're skinny or overweight, it is inappropriate, rude, and none of your business to comment on appearance. And it's really, really been bothering me over the last couple of weeks. And while I was on vacation, I actually received two separate comments, one on YouTube and one in my Facebook group about my makeup and how they didn't like my makeup and how I wear too much makeup. It actually makes me really mad more than it bothers me because it's not appropriate. And I can guarantee you that you would never, ever, ever come up to me in real life and say comments about my makeup and say that you don't like it or that I wear too much or it's too colorful or whatever. You would never ever come up to someone in real life and say that, so don't do it on the internet. Even though we choose to put ourselves out on the internet, we don't deserve negative, rude, condescending, inappropriate, demeaning comments about our appearance. So I wanted to talk with you guys. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little fired up about it because it really, really makes me mad. I would never, ever, ever comment on someone's appearance. If I didn't like someone's makeup or someone's hair or someone's clothing, I just wouldn't do my makeup that way or wear my hair that way or buy that piece of clothing. I would never, ever, ever say a comment about it to that person because it's so incredibly inappropriate. So I just wanna put an announcement, a PSA out there that the next time you want to comment on someone's appearance, please think twice about it. Whether it's on the internet, whether it's in person, wherever the person is that you want to comment on, just think twice about it because it's really not your place to comment on someone else's appearance. Cheers to that. Let's get into an afternoon snack. So I'm going to make an afternoon snack and I'm going to start with my final rice cake in this pack. I actually just bought another one of these packs in my grocery haul. These are the Sprouts brand of the organic rice cakes, the brown rice. These are my all time favorite. I love the size of them. They're literally the perfect size for nut butter. And to no surprise to anyone, I'll be using my American Dream nut butter. I actually just ordered three more flavors because that's how obsessed I am. What's great about this nut butter is all the mix-ins. This is the Yabba Dabba Delicious Peanut Butter. It has little peanut butter chips and crunchy bits of chocolate cereal and like Reese's Pieces in there. So good. And what's even better about that peanut butter, it's less calories and points than traditional peanut butter. This one's 150 calories for two tablespoons and it has nine grams of protein. I just love that there's some texture to it. So it's not just nut butter, there's actually some texture, which just really like elevates the nut butter. It's so good. This one is a peanut butter. They have almond butter, cashew butter. They're all absolutely incredible. Like I said, I just ordered three more containers. So I'm going, I'm going to tar this out and I'm going to do one tablespoon, which is 14 grams of the nut butter. And then I'm going to just spread that out. It's like the perfect afternoon snack. Can you see all those little Reese's pieces? Yum. And then I am also going to have one of my Organic Valley cheese sticks. This is literally my favorite afternoon snack. I get lots of protein, some carbs, some healthy fats in the nut butter. This is actually a very well-rounded snack, very well-rounded, because it has all three macronutrients, which is ideal for all of your meals and snacks. So I'll go ahead and put the points and calories here on the screen. And of course, I will link the American Dream nut butter down below. I do have a discount discount for 10% off for you. I can't recommend it more. Someone likes their new baby. Is that your new baby, Bubba? That's your new baby, Pumpkin. Yeah, you take a nap with your baby, okay? You take a little nap, buddy. I love you. I love you, Pumpkin. Just sitting down for a four and a half hour real estate 
class. We do it on Zoom, which is kind of interesting because we get to be at home at least, but it's long. Four and a half hours is long. For dinner tonight, I am making spaghetti carbonara. I'm really excited for this. It sounds really good. More on the lighter side for the warmer days, so let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need pepper, salt, minced garlic or fresh garlic. You'll also need some Parmesan cheese, bacon. I'm just going to use the fully cooked bacon because I have it on hand. You can use center cut bacon, really any type of bacon. Fresh or dried parsley, a couple of eggs, and of course, spaghetti. Look at this snazzy new packaging from Fiber Gourmet. You guys know Fiber Gourmet is our all-time favorite pasta. It has 48% less calories than traditional pasta, so it actually only has 110 calories versus 210 calories in regular pasta, so it's three points instead of six points. It also has 24 grams of fiber, which is almost all of the fiber that you need in an entire day, which is 25 grams and 17 net carbs. It also contains seven grams of protein per serving. I love, love, love Fiber Gourmet. The taste, the texture, everything about it is a million out of 10. I do buy it off of Nettrition. I'll link Nettrition down below for you. They have the cheapest price and the biggest selection because they do have several shapes. Spaghetti, elbows, rotini, and penne. I have all the shapes, we love them, and I really love the new box packaging. So I'll be using fiber gourmet pasta in tonight's dinner recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is bring a pot of water to a boil, and we're going to add in our fiber gourmet pasta and allow the pasta to cook. While the pasta is cooking, we're going to crack two eggs into a bowl. And half of a cup of Parmesan. Go ahead and whisk that together. I'm also going to add my garlic to the egg mixture. If you are cooking your bacon, go ahead and add the garlic in with the bacon. But since I use pre-cooked bacon, I'm going to mix it into the egg and Parmesan cheese mixture. Once your pasta is finished cooking, grab out a little bowl and just steal a little bit of the pasta water. You won't need a whole lot, but go ahead and grab some pasta water and set it aside. Then we're going to drain the noodles, turn off the heat, and return the noodles to the pan. To the pasta, we're adding the egg, Parmesan cheese, and garlic mixture, and then you wanna stir that in right away. Now, if your eggs don't cook by adding it to the hot pasta, go ahead and turn back on your heat and make sure that you're stirring consistently until you see that those eggs are cooked. So you can see that my eggs are kind of that scrambled consistency. That's what we want in the pasta. Then we're going to add four slices of our crumbled up bacon. And we're going to add in that reserved pasta water until we have the right consistency for the pasta. And last but not least, we're adding salt and pepper. And then stir it until fully combined and then we're ready to plate it up for dinner. And here is the completed pasta. I am going to throw a bag of frozen broccoli in the microwave as well alongside the pasta, but here is what the spaghetti carbonara looks like. It actually makes five servings, so you get a pretty hearty serving of the pasta. With the fiber gourmet pasta, it's only five points, so not bad at all. There's bacon, there's cheese, there's pasta. So this, along with some steamed broccoli, is going to be tonight's dinner. It's dessert time, and while I was in San Diego, we actually went to Julian, like I mentioned, and I bought these chocolate mint covered almonds, and we all munched on these while I was in San Diego, and I have six of them left, and this is going to be my dessert tonight. They're really, really good. The coating on these is really thick. You can see all that minty chocolate goodness, and the crunch of the almond, it's like a Andy's mint with an almond crunch. Super, super good, so six of these little babies is my dessert.
Well, that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. We did some shopping, we ran some errands, I got some new perfume. Don't forget, I will link everything I shared with you in today's video, the perfume, the nut butter, everything will be down in the description box, as well as my recipe website where you'll find tonight's dinner recipe. Nutrition coaching, don't forget to sign up for personalized macros and calories. I highly, highly recommend, and of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. All the other links and discounts to my very favorite things as well as my Facebook group, definitely come join us over there. We'll all be down in that description box. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I always love taking you guys along with me and I'll see you all in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.